The Arkansas Razorbacks are going to be headed to the Outback Bowl, 7-4. They'll be taking on 7-5 Wisconsin, representing the Big Ten. Tampa Bay, Florida is about to be a sea of red. Matt Lionheart wins the Heisman Trophy for the second time in his career. Matt Lionheart from USC, obviously. Dawson from Wisconsin was the second runner-up or was the runner-up, and that means we face one of the best backs in the nation. He won the Maxwell Award. He also, as you see right here, won the Walker Award. So Carlos Dawson could be a problem. Morgan wins best receiver out of Utah. BYU has the best tight end in the nation. And then Underwood from Florida State, your best offensive lineman. McNeil, the Remington Award. The centers and the offensive line from Wisconsin, big, nasty, and beefy. Woods, your best linebacker. Bryant from UCLA, the Thorpe Award recipient. Edwards, he wins best kicker. He is a beast. Gateway, Gatewood, excuse me, is also a beast at punter. Reggie Bush, your best returner. And then coach of the year goes to the head coach at Fresno State. When it comes to our stats, Robert Johnson, 83 completions on 137 passes through for just 10 TDs. Kept the interceptions relatively down, but we definitely focused more on the ground game. We had... The majority of our yardage came in the ground game. One of our backs got over 1,000. McFadden possibly could have got over 1,000, but he got hurt, and he was done for the year. But Darius Howard is a man amongst boys. He was suspended for an LSU game, and that definitely hurt our chances of beating those LSU Tigers who ended up getting the win versus us. When it comes to our defense, Clark Moore, Big Clark, 45 tackles, 5 for loss. 11, though, goes to Desmond Sims, redshirt junior that led the way. I expect that all these guys will return. Everybody that's eligible to come back, I believe, will come back. Clark Moore also led the team with three interceptions, followed by Jackson and Sims. So here's the tale of the tape. We come in ranked just outside the top 25 or 26. They're ranked number 35. They have one guy out due to injury. We have one guy out in Darren McFadden due to injury. It is the Outback Bowl, Raymond James Stadium, home of the NFL team Tampa Bay Buccaneers and here come the Badgers followed by the Arkansas Razorbacks the Razorbacks won the toss we elected to receive Washington from just outside his own end zone woke it up past the 15. First down 10 yards to go Howard to the left side makes one guy miss and then he gets tackled down to the ground gain of seven. Johnson fires into the traffic and that pass will be broken up so third down and three and Wisconsin, a little bit antsy on that D-line. They jump off sides. Automatic first down right there. Washington makes the catch gain of nine. We get the ball to Howard on second down to one. And he's going to pick up the first down by the hairs of his chinny, chin, chin. Howard to the outside, fighting for every inch. Only able to pick up a few inches. Going to fire it to Monk on the out route. And that's going to result in a Razorbacks first down. So we're now on the other side of the 50. We get the ball to Howard. And Howard is going to pick up four. Robert Johnson, rolling left, still rolling. He could take off if he wants to, he does, and he's going to get out of bounds, two-yard shot. So third down and two. Johnson rolls right, throws it left, caught by Monk. The post pattern was run perfectly. He was able to split the cornerback and the safety, and the pass was on time and on target for a first down. We get the ball to Howard, and Howard goes backwards. Second down and 12. Johnson throws it. That's going to be overthrown right into the hands of Floyd. And that's going to bring our drive to an end. Wisconsin takes over, getting it to the best back in the nation. And look at our defense. There for the stop loss of three. They give it to Dawson again. He's able to get out of the backfield this time for a gain of six. So third down and seven. Play fake. They throw it to absolutely no one. And we all know that Wisconsin usually has issues at that quarterback position. Howard to the right side, breaks a the tackle, then cuts the back, and he gets met with mean intentions. Gain of nine. Johnson looking downfield. That pass will be caught by Baker, and that's another nice pass and another first down. Arkansas is on the move again. Howard gets the carry, and this time he won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and long. Jones gets his first carry, and that's going to go backwards. So third down and 14. We need something here. The pass is let loose, and that pass will fall incomplete, and we're forced to punt the ball away, and Dawson is loose, still on his feet, and he's going to have the first first down of the game for Wisconsin. Play fake. McMahon has a man open. That's going to be caught by Kane, and Kane. Has a first down up to the 36 yard line. Carlos Dawson gets another carry, and look at that defense. All over the running back to end the first quarter. 
So Dawson gets the carry, and Dawson gets loose, and then he gets brought down by Jackson. Setting him third down and two. He breaks a tackle, and he's going to pick up the first down just barely. Dawson gets out of another tackle, and we know who they're going to give the ball to, number two. Can we stop it? They run a draw. Dawson is loose. He's going to get upfield for another solid pickup as they work their way up to the 25-yard line. Play fake. The man has a man in the flat caught by Kane. Kane's able to hold that one in easily for a gain of eight. Play fake now. The pass is caught, and that's going to be a touchdown for Larson and for the Wisconsin Badgers who strike first. Very important on this drive that Arkansas scores. We're not really built to come back from behind with this rushing attack, but we'll see what we can do. We get the ball to Howard. Howard turns the corner. Howard gets loose, and then he gets caught by the shoelace, gain of 20. Johnson under pressure. He gets drilled in his back, and that's going to be a big loss there. Robert Johnson going to roll to the right side. That pass caught by Winston. Winston has come on strong in these last couple of weeks. Makes the catch there. That's going to be third down and four from the 40-yard line. Shotgun formation for Arkansas. Robert Johnson under pressure and down he goes again. So the sack is going to end the drive. And Wisconsin has a seven-point lead plus the football. Dawson was lined up on the outside. Runs his route coming across the middle. Hauls it in for a gain of seven. Good protection on this pass play. McMahon looking for somebody open. It's going to be caught by Moore. And that's going to be a first down. Or Clarkmore with the tackle. Tried to rip the football out of there. Was unable to do so. Now McMahon fires it to the right side. Caught by Moore again. And they're up to midfield. And this is what you don't want to see. A Wisconsin Badger team that we know can run the football. But when they compare it with the passing game, you could be in trouble. And there goes Dawson, who works his way up to the 25-yard line. McMahon. Sets his feet, throws it, Larson hauls it in, but he's going to go nowhere fast. Just a gain of two yards on that pass play. They burn their second timeout. So they have one timeout left. McMahon fires it. That pass will be dropped. And now they're looking at third down and eight from the 23-yard line. Dropping back. Throwing it to the right side. It's going to be caught by Dawson. We couldn't bring him down. He dies for the first down, and he's going to have it. And now Wisconsin is going to hurry up. From the 13-yard line, first down and 10. Single back, look, toss play to Dawson. Gets away from one man, going to turn on the speed, and he is gone. And Wisconsin is going to be up by two scores. So 14-0 is the score. Washington's going to bring it out from his own end zone about nine yards deep. Gets up to the 20-yard line. Would have been easier just to take a knee. So first down, 10 yards to go. Johnson going to look right. Now he's rolling right, still rolling, throws it on the run, and that pass will fall incomplete, trying to find Baker. So second down and 10, Howard is in the zone, but we're not going to give him the football. We're going to look downfield one more time. This time Monk goes up top, and he's going to bring that football down, move the chains. 21 seconds to work with. Direct snap now to Howard. Howard up past the 50, and Howard has a first down, and he stops the clock. His 10th carry for 69 yards. Dawson has 10 carries for 94 yards, and now he goes backwards again. Another sack. Just when you get some momentum, they take it right back. Johnson going to roll left. Throws it deep downfield for Monk, and they're going to say he stayed in bounds and gets knocked out of bounds at the 11-yard line. So I don't know if really did stay in bounds, but I'm going to take it. We have a chance to score before the half is up. So can we put this one in the end zone? Johnson going to roll right into a sack. The right tackle got beasted on, and Carlton is there for the sack. And that's going to end our drive. We're on a field goal range, though. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So we do score before the half is officially up. So 14-3 is now the score. So Arkansas is going to boot this one away. Wisconsin is going to get the football first to start the second half. Clayton gets upfield, breaks a tackle, and he's able to work his way all the way up to around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Dawson gets the carry again, and he is loose. Dawson with not a man that can catch him, and he's going to take it to the crib. And just like that, the lead balloons up to 18. Washington's going to take a knee. Thought better of it this time. So first down, 10 yards to go from the 20-yard line. Johnson going to roll right. Still rolling. Now he's going to keep it. Crosses the first down mark, and that's going to be a gain of around 20. Move those chains. Make it 21 yards for our quarterback. Rolling to the left side. Throwing it to Cedric Washington, who hauls it in to the 40, 30, 20, 10-5, give him six, and Arkansas is not going down without a fight. 
big time pass play right there. And that's exactly what mama wanted you to do. And we appreciate you doing what you do, Cedric Washington, as he runs that one across the goal line. So here comes Larson from his own 10 up to the 20. Breaks a tackle. Spin moves out of another one. Got a mean block and he is loose. But there is a flag down. And if you're an Arkansas fan, thank goodness that there's a flag. That's going to be clipping. Bring it all the way back to the 12-yard line. First down and 10. They run it. No, they fake it. Fletcher receives it. And Fletcher has a first down reception for a gain of eight. Second down, two yards to go now. McMahon hands off to Dawson. Gets out of a tackle. Gets out of another. Can we stop this, man? I think the answer is no. But Vaughn is there for a touchdown save and tackle. His fourth tackle of the ball game. And Wisconsin has at the 44-yard line in Razorback territory. And Dawson is incredible. He can run with power. He can run with speed. A little bit of finesse here. Spin move there. One cut here. He can do it all. And he's putting it on display today. Clayton, he hauls it in. And again, the worst thing that you can have with the Wisconsin team that can throw the ball and that's what they're doing today very very well as Larson makes the catch and he gets dragged down just shy of the end zone we're calling everything we're calling man we're calling them blitzes zone blitzes man blitzes it does not matter we try to stop the fullback it does not happen Wisconsin continues to pummel this front seven for another touchdown and Wisconsin is back up by 18 Washington again will just take a knee in the end zone so we got to do something our offense has been not the greatest today. We throw it to the right side, caught by Bracken, and that pass will be caught. And now we're looking at second down and four for the 26. Howard, he has it. He's loose. Can he make somebody miss? He does, and that's going to result in a first down. He is the sixth highest rusher in the SEC. Johnson looking down. Phil going to throw a screen pass to Howard. The blocking was decent. Breaks one tackle, but won't have the first down, but he does pick up a decent game as Robert Johnson connects for his fifth in a row. That pass going to be caught by Monk. That's going to be our sixth completion in a row as Robert Johnson is now over 208 yards. Johnson is going to run the option. He's going to keep it and break to the left side. I'm pretty sure it was designed to go to the right side, but it works nonetheless. It's going to be a first down for the Razorbacks inside Wisconsin Territory. Set up another screen pass. Howard makes the catch, breaks a tackle. Nice spin move. He's going to pick up seven, maybe eight yards yet again. So from the 27, second down and two. Howard on a direct snap, breaks the tackle and has a first down just barely. And we're up to the 23-yard line now. Shotgun formation. Rolling left is Johnson. Still rolling. Now he's going to keep it. He's going to pick maybe a yard or two up there. And that's going to set up second down and eight. Wisconsin sends a four-man rush. They're starting to get some pressure, and that pass is dropped by Howard. If he makes that catch, he might still be running towards the end zone. So third down and eight now. This is a big play right here. Johnson's going to keep it. He's going to die for the first down, and he's going to pick it up. Wisconsin has over 100 more yards rushing than Arkansas does at 103 to 203, but add some more to that total and add a touchdown to the scoreboard as Howard crosses the goal line, and Arkansas again scores a touchdown. But now it's going to be up to our defense to possibly get a stop. If they can't do it, obviously this thing is going to be over before we even got to the fourth quarter. But hopefully our defense is up to the task. 53 seconds on the clock. Wisconsin's protecting an 11-point lead. McMahon fires it to the right side, and that pass intended for Kane is going to fall incomplete. I believe that one hit him upside his head. Second down and 10. They get the ball to Dawson, and Dawson not going nowhere at all. Setting up third down now, third down and five, so I guess he did go somewhere after all. They run the ball there. We should have stopped them. We should have stopped them again, but should have, would have, could have. Don't get the job done. He has 190 yards after contact, so we're getting there. We're just not making the play. Dawson to the right side. Again, gets away from a would-be tackler, and he's going to have a gain of seven. And that's going to take us to the fourth quarter. So 28 to 17 is the score. We got to get a stop here. They pick up another first down. That just means they're going to take time off the clock. And they do just that. And time is starting to tick off the clock. From the 32-yard line. Toss play now to Dawson. Gets a mean block. But then Moore is there to clean him up his fourth stop of the ball game. From the 30 now. Dawson right up the gut. And just like when you think you have him... He just goes this way, back, that way, back, this way, first down. Too easy. First down and 10. Then Dawson breaks the tackle, and then Dawson's going to work his way up to the 16-yard line. Good tackle there by Vaughn. 
Gain of just four. Could have went for more. They get the ball to Dawson again. And then you add on this great offensive line. And it's just, it's almost like it's too easy at times. It looks like a varsity versus JV team at times. More wide open gets into the end zone. And I don't know if we have enough time to come back, but let's see what we can do. First down and 10. From the 20 yard line, Johnson looking. Johnson throwing his tipped and picked by Floyd. His second of the ball game up to the 20. And there you go. Unbelievable. Just when you thought you might have time for a comeback, they slammed that door shut and said, you ain't got time for nothing. Dawson weaving through traffic, and that's just a beautiful 11-yard run. 22 carries, averaging 12.7 yards per attempt. They throw it to Kane. That pass will be broken up. Second down and goal. Our formation, Dawson's in the zone. They give it to him. He's able to get away from a D lineman and get into the end zone. And this game might be officially out of reach now. 3.02 on the clock, 42 to 17 to score. We get the ball to Howard. Howard gets loose. And maybe Howard might be a better option than any passing attack that we could try to come together at this moment in time. Howard going to try to get out that tackle. Can't quite do it. But he does have 126 yards. Not a bad day, but definitely overshadowed by the, by the play of Carlos Dawson. That pass it incomplete intended for Monk with three for five on third down Corey make it four for six Johnson rolling left sets his feet fires a deep caught by Baker and that's a nice big chunk play 218 on the clock Johnson looking downfield that pass nearly intercepted and that would have put a curtain on this show second down and 10 for the 29 Johnson trying to get busy Johnson gonna pitch it Howard's gonna take the hit and picks up six maybe seven yards in the process so third down and four Johnson looking, and that pass intended for Winston will fall incomplete. Fourth and four now. We're going to go for it. I mean, why not? Johnson looking downfield, still looking, rolling right, weaving through traffic, steps up in the pocket, then rolls right again, fires it to Cedric Washington. An amazing play by Robert Johnson. And Wisconsin has a man that's hurt. Looks to be Quinn Johnson. First down and 10 now from the 13-yard line. Johnson under pressure, and Quinn is there for the sack. This linebacker has five tackles. Add on a sack right there. The pass protection clearly broke down because he got shot out of a cannon. The pass protection breaks down again, but the pass is caught by Baker. How did that happen is absolutely beyond me. You're going to have to find a scientist to make the calculation see what the probability of that catch was. But we do get into the end zone with Howard, so 42 to 24. Crazier things have happened. We're going to send the onside kick away. It's recovered by Nelson, and that is that. Wisconsin, they win the Outback Bowl. They finish 8 and 5. We finish 7 and 5. But a pretty solid season to kick things off with this dynasty with the Arkansas Razorbacks. Hopefully, we have better years to come. Hopefully, McFadden can stay healthy because, again, he is the starter in my mind. You never know what recruiting is going to, going to play or what recruiting is going to give us, I should say, uh, what role it's going to play. But our roster, for the most part, in the backfield is pretty much set. I expect the majority of these guys who are not seniors to come back. I do not expect to see anybody transfer. But we're going to see what happens, man. Uh, we do have to probably retool this offensive line. We did sign a right tackle in the offseason. But that was the only guy that we signed. I thought we had a good chance to sign four guys, but we only got one guy. But that's going to do it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. How many times did I say guys right there? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until you meet again, my friends, peace, love. Hot sauce.